All right, Instagram, this is going to be a very quick um, reading for you guys. I feel like some of you guys, there's somebody who is trying to get over you. They're trying to, if, however they're trying, they're trying to get you out of their mind. But you are, whoever this reading is message is for, you're not the type of person that that can happen for like if some if you have affected or been in somebody's life um and you have loved them unconditionally you have supported them you have tried to put them on the road to healing whatever it is that person is not going to be able to get you the thing is this person needs to come to terms for this what the hell this person needs to come to terms with who you are to them you know what I'm saying? It's almost like a, a, a person, a, you know how they have guardian angels, but this is like a physical, um, I don't know. It's deep, y'all. I don't want, let's see. What are the messages? What are the messages for Instagram, please? What are the messages? Somebody wants to call you, not, but this person is being very stubborn. They're not checking in with their intuition. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The King of Cups did come up. These two cards did come up in that TikTok uh, message for you guys that follow me over there. This is giving take. This is giving take. Somebody is trying to guide you on the other side, um, or guide this person, or show this person that this could be a beautiful give and take type of situation. This could be one of their spirit guides. This could be one of their teammates, their ancestors, because somebody sees that somebody is the best thing they ever could have. This person is um, in a small-minded energy. They're not trusting their intuition. This, But this person sometimes moves in an energy of blind faith. So it's really, really strange. This is the energy now, but something is very toxic. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. This could be a soul tie union. This could have been a soul tie union with you and somebody else. Or this could have been your karmic. Okay? Okay. Uh, real fast, y'all. Karmics. Depending on you, that's something in my damn too. Depending on you, karmics, they say karmics have the best sex. Like karmic connections, you guys share very intense sexual surging and energy. Okay, let's just say that. Somebody is still connected to somebody with their in their sacral energy. So clear your sacral up, clear that sacral energy up, balance, align that area down there. Really put a focus on that. If you have some carnelian, put it down there on your sacral tonight when you're doing your meditation. Queen of Wands. Um, conflict. Somebody is conflicted or they feel like there's, this is how this person is, is uh, they feel like you have the advantage and they're just here like, I'm scared. What are they going to say to me? I don't know what to do. And this person, you could be a Leo or somebody could be a Leo. There is water energy, but somebody's really scared because there's a lot of emotions that have been healed through. Somebody wanna, doesn't want to backtrack back to the past because they've already been there, done that. This is something deeper for some of you guys. Some of you guys, you're being led back to this person. This person being led. Somebody's coming out of hermit mode or somebody's not even listening to the energy that they received while they were in hermit mode they're being very 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 stubborn thank you following my last star card somebody is working on themselves somebody is working on their endeavors somebody is working on their body somebody is sucking in their stomach more somebody is uh, masturbating more to bring in abundance and things like this because this is how they're coming out of that 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 stormy energy or like they found this this balance whether this is you or somebody else they found this balance between this energy and this energy and you see this energy is thicker than this energy there you know it's like embracing your darkness and your light you need duality to um to really be balanced in in life okay the sun card i see the two of swords don't fall no damn it man all right, the nine of swords, somebody in their head, anxiety ridden. Don't look at them grays. Don't look at them grays. Anxiety ridden, um, stress. This is the energy I feel. Love key feel the higher fin came out too. This has to do with a marriage or some type of commitment. Somebody's commitment to spirit, deciding if this is what they're supposed to do over their commitment to their selves, to their craft, to their spirituality, to their life. Like I've been guided to come out of this situation. Why is this coming back around? Somebody is not even seeing the full picture, as my dad used to say, or still says to me. Look at the big picture. Somebody is not seeing the entire big picture. There's a lot of victory. There's a lot of mental clarity. There's a lot of, ah, oh, that's why type of energy. Somebody's still not making a decision between two fire signs. I'm telling you, two people, you literally, and I've said this more than once during a reading for you guys, that somebody has two options, two fire signs, and they could be both karmic 
It could be well karmic because somebody is not learning their lesson. That's why this situation is coming back around. Get it? I love you guys. Peace.